Master Cao Pi, the Emperor has issued a decree naming you the King of Wei. The King of Wei? So, he wishes me to follow in my father's footsteps. However, that is not enough to satisfy my ambition. I shall reach the heights achieved by my father, or should I say, I shall surpass him. Surpass him? What do you mean by that? In other words, you wish to become emperor, Master Cao Pi. It is the most logical decision if I am to make way even stronger and bring peace to the land. I see. While I am sure you'll face opposition, it should not be anything we can't handle. Do you wish to make your move right away? Yes, but we must follow the proper procedure and force him to abdicate. Only then can I begin to create a new world of my own design. It seems that the Han Imperial Court is about to meet its end. Shh! You mustn't say things like that out loud. If one of the Cell family were to hear you! Did you hear the news? Lord Cao Pi is about to be named Emperor! Huh? What about the current Emperor? D don't tell me that they... I heard that Lord Cao Pi said the Emperor wishes to abdicate the throne voluntarily. That's ridiculous! Why would he just give up the throne like that? Lord Cao Pi must be applying pressure to him. So that means he's forcing the Emperor to abdicate just to deflect suspicion of his intentions? If so, Lord Cao Pi is one terrifying individual. I agree. He's like the worst kind of villain. Master Cao Pi, the stage preparations are complete. The stage. So this is where the Emperor will abdicate the throne and transfer authority to me. This ceremony should serve as a fitting end to the Han and herald the birth of the Wei Emperor. My lord, it appears that the faction supporting the Emperor has begun to step up their activities. It seems there is somebody behind the scenes looking to incite them. If we proceed with the abdication now, it is only likely to invite further violence. We must deal with this immediately. You're right, Sima Yi. If Wei is to create a new age of stability for the land, we must eliminate any who oppose my ascension. Relations between Wu and Shu are strained due to Guan Yu's death. This is our chance to solidify our power. Do whatever you can to expedite the process. We must sure. construct my ascension to the throne. Do not look past any detail, no matter how trivial it may seem.
Master Cao Pi is not fit to be emperor. We shall never permit such tyranny. He is an emperor who ignores bandits attacking the people. Truly worthy of the title. What? Stay out of our way. This chaos is the perfect chance to line our pockets. You don't hold back, do you? Time to quit the bandit game right there. You defeated some bandits. And that makes you worthy to be emperor, does it? The emperor must see all. Does he know these beasts pillage his fields? Thank you so much! You saved us! I have seen your love for your people. Please, forgive any past slights. I have to accept you now. I will go along with whatever the Emperor decides. turned out rather nicely. A truly amazing performance. You don't need me around.
Lord Shaho Dune will always serve our Lord. It is. I cannot believe the rumors I am hearing in Luoyang. Could Master Cao Pi really be plotting to assassinate the Emperor? That sounds like the rumor being spread by the Shu spy. We can't let this go any further. We must find the spy and shut him up. a suspicious person here. They headed off cautiously down that path. Ugh, I've heard some nasty rumors. From that person over there, actually. Based on the information we've obtained so far, hmm, I have a feeling the spy is over there. Based on the information I have obtained so far, I anticipate Shu's spies to be in that area there. Uh-oh. Oh, I've been spotted, but I won't let you catch me! Uh, uh. Oh, I'm so serious. There's no chance of spreading any rumors now. I'll have to go back and apologize to Master Jugo Liang. That certainly went easily. Well done. You have the heart of a warrior. Things turned out rather nicely. You've proven to be a very talented fighter. So, have you dealt with the people who stood in my way? It seems we have won over the Emperor's loyal supporters. That is one less thing for us to worry about. We have driven off the Shu spies. Thank you, everyone. I am impressed with your efforts. Now, there are none left to oppose me taking the throne. At last! We can guide the land on a course towards peace and prosperity. Liu Bei has taken the mantle of Shu Emperor, and it seems he wasted little time in attacking U. How could he do such a thing? There is already a Wei Emperor who was chosen by the former Han Emperor. Not only that, but he immediately went to war after naming himself Emperor. 
and it is not the Wei Emperor he acts against, but Wu. Liu Bei is driven by rage following the death of Guan Yu and seeks vengeance. Ha! Huh. I can understand the sentiment. Master Cao Pi! No, I mean, your Imperial Highness! There's no need to be so formal, Chiu. So Xu has attacked Wu. I have a feeling Liu Bei will suffer a massive defeat in this battle. Hmm. What makes you think that? Their formation indicates they are following the topography of Yi Ling and are stretched pretty thin. A well-placed strike will divide their ranks. They must not have Zhuge Liang with them. Either that, or Liu Bei is not listening to his advice. He is so consumed with rage, he does not realize the danger he is putting his men in. How tragic. That's rather unfortunate for them, but it presents a great opportunity for us. Prepare to march. This is our chance to finish off Shu for good. W wait my lord! You are emperor now! We cannot allow you to put yourself in harm's way like this! Hmm... You presume to tell your emperor what to do? I... I would never be so bold! I must apologize for speaking out of turn in such a way! No, think nothing of it. You were merely concerned for my safety. I do not blame you for that. However, a country with an emperor who only sits on his throne is destined to fail. This is my chance to show our superiority over our Han predecessor. Your Highness, allow me to offer my congratulations. <laughs> there is no need to suddenly be so formal. Huh. Suma Yi, tell me something. Why was Father... Why was Tao Tao only King of Wei? If he had only desired it, he could have taken the throne. Lord Cao Cao's main purpose was to restore order to the land. I believe he believed that by restoring and protecting the Han court, he was simply acting upon the best strategy to do exactly that. Hmm. Even though it had been on the verge of corruption, he sought the peace he knew, rather than an unknown possibility. And that was simply a display of human nature. Hmm. An excellent answer, Sima Yi. Thanks to you, I am once again convinced of the path I have chosen. I will not look 
to anyone else anymore. I will not bend to anyone. I will change this land with my own hands. The grand rule of Zhao Wei starts now! The Shu forces suffered a massive defeat at Yiling, and Liu Bei has retreated to Beidi Castle. We should mobilize our army and attack them from five directions in order to ensure that Shu is finally annihilated. Five directions? That is a massive undertaking. Furthermore, in addition to our war against Shu, I propose we move the capital to Luoyang. It will be more efficient in terms of communications and supplies. Very well. I shall place you in charge of our efforts to defeat Xu and transfer the capital, Sima Yi. As you command, my lord. I want you to head for Ji Ting and await further order. I can see the reason for attacking Shu and moving the capital. However, why does His Highness simply do what Master Sima Yi says? I have a feeling that soon, Wei will be completely under Master Sima Yi's control. We must begin our assault on Shu. Sima Yi, I want a status report and details of your strategy. Yes, my lord. Since Liu Bei's death, Shu has been guided by Zhuge Liang. But we have received word that he has fallen ill. Additionally, there is little public support for Liu Bei's heir, Liu Shen, leading to discontent amongst the people. So, basically, Shu is facing serious internal problems right now. If we attack them from five different directions, we can annihilate them for good. The first army shall be our main unit, led by our lord. He will be followed by armies from Meng Huo of Nanjong, the Qiang, and the Meng Da of the Xiangyang. The fifth and final army will belong to Wu. Master Sima Yi, will Sun Quan really assist us in this battle? Will he not fear that the elimination of Shu would mean that Wu is next? I imagine he will, Wu Huai. That makes our elimination of Shu the perfect opportunity to ascertain Wu's thinking as well. We can learn much from how he responds to our request. I am curious to see which way he leads. Oh, I see. You think of everything, Master Sima Yi. Then I must go and make my preparations for the battle. If we can rid ourselves of Shu, I imagine Sima Yi will become even more powerful than before. I have a feeling our position here could be in danger. Is there anything we can do about it? It's simple. We'll just pretend we are ill and cannot send out our soldiers. Somebody needs to teach him that he can't always get what he wants. With Liu Bei gone, this is our best chance to finish off Shu for good. Sima Yi, 
Your intellect will prove vital towards that end. As you command, our target is Chengdu. Surround it from five directions at once and it will soon... F uh. What can a man like that do? I intend to watch him fail. It will be extremely satisfying. Please, you must retreat. It will be in your own best interests. Leaving this place undefended is dangerous. I shall see to its defense. Uh. I wish I could have made them see the light, but I suppose I always expected that this might happen. That certainly went easily. I was forced to waste time dealing with our own incompetence. But Shu without Zhuge Liang is nothing to fear. So you're Liu Bei's son. I did not expect to see the Emperor of Wei come all this way himself. It must have been most inconvenient for you. Zhuge Liang has something he would like to say to you. I hope you will grant him an audience. What? Did you say Zhuge Liang? I thought he was supposed to be sick. We will never surrender to Wei. If you desire to face us in battle, we will be more than ready. But when you do, I advise you to keep an eye out behind you. Now, if you'll excuse me, I will see you on the battlefield. From the rear? Could Zhuge Liang have made a deal with Wu? All of our units are currently engaged with the Shu forces. We would be unable to defend against a Wu attack from behind. Oh, this is also due to my late arrival at Chengdu. There is no excuse for my failure, my lord. This is not your fault, Sima Yi. If everybody had properly carried out your orders, Shu would be nothing more than a distant memory. Besides, the Shu are not the only ones feeling pain right now. You and I both have our own issues to deal with. Yes, my lord. No matter. Although we did not manage to eliminate Shu, at least we now know Wu's true intentions. All units, prepare to march. We must return to the capital at once. Are you going to break off your alliance with Wu? Of course. Now that we have achieved our common purpose in defeating Huan Yu, I'm sure that Wu has already started planning their attack on us. We know that Wu has once again formed an alliance with Shu. It is likely that we are going to find ourselves under attack from both of them very soon. But this alliance was made only so that they may face us, their common enemy. In other words, 